Yeah, what's going on guys? I'm Shadow Soul 720 This is Rose. And either way our goal today is to talk about Pokemon Go, as you might have been able to tell from the title. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually if you haven't seen Pokemon Go yet, there's a trailer to it that I'll put down in the description. And basically we're just gonna watch this trailer and we'll talk about what we think uh, Pokemon Go is gonna be like. So it's an app for I don't know what it's for yet. It might be Android. It's probably Google Play. Um, I think it's Google Play on iTunes. Possibly. Um, it might even say on the video. So we may as well just watch it and um, see what it's going to be like. If it'll start, that is. Here we go. It's pretty quiet to start with. We see it's by Nintendo. <laughs> And Niantic? Pretty sure that's how you say it. Imagine Pokemon. In. in the real world. Bum bum bum. Yo, so what happens is you, you get the app, you can find it tells you where to go to find some Pokemons. You travel, you travel across across the land searching far and wide. Then you find some power, and then you've got your Pokeball in your hand, and you throw it to catch the power that you can hold inside. I choose you, Pikachu! Yo, so it's like that. I don't think you actually have to throw Pokeballs, though. Um, and it says, go catch. Ah, uh, What am I catching? It doesn't say. Anyway, it looks like you can trade the Pokemon too, which looks like it's going to be a really amazing feature of the game. Go, go trade. Good. Good. And you can battle people. Oh, I just I spoiled it for you guys. There it is. See? Under attack. That could be a wild Pokemon though. I'm not quite sure. And as per normal, these trailers look amazing. They look really, really beautiful. Um, I mean, I don't know why you have your Meowth take on a Blastoise, but it's pretty cool. And you can see that you get great balls. So there's probably an online store as well to buy different stuff. Defeat me too. Within ten minutes. So it seems like there'll be uh, special little events that will happen every so often, just like in Pokemon Shuffle. If you guys have played that game, it's free. It's on the App Store. If you guys want to go purchase it, it's fun. Uh, what happens in Pokemon Shuffle is every so often they'll um so good looking. I reckon if Pokemon. Could uh, produce a virtual reality sort of game like this, or like an Oculus Rift sort of supported thing. It would look super amazing. And everyone's like, "Whoa, we all caught them too." There's only one, but we all got it. They all caught it. Yo, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Android. So that's what the actual uh, gameplay looks like. Coming 2016. 2016. Oh, we don't want to replay it. So, thoughts on that? Um, I think it looks a lot like the Pokemon Google Maps challenge that they had for April Fools. Um, except it looks a lot better. Looks like they actually tried to turn that into a product. And, you know what, I think it actually looks pretty decent. If it's free. <laughs> if it's free. If it's a free game, it'll be pretty cool. We can't spend $2 on a game, can we? No, no, definitely not. Not with all the, like, in-app purchases. But, um, no, I feel like it's going to be decent. The fact that you can trade and battle, collect them all. Uh, probably, you might, I mean, if there's a point of battling, then you can probably level up your Pokemon too, which is really cool. Uh, it might even be a little bit similar to the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver like Pokeball things you used to be able to get. Uh, Pokemon Walkers. Which, if you didn't know, they're like pedometers and they're like Tamagotchis basically uh, together. 
a little bit like that. Um, and I, I just see good things coming out of this. Although it's 2016, it's a while away. Pockin's coming out at that time too. And that's, that's what I think. What do you think? Well, it was confusing. It was confusing. I mean, if I was eight, I'd be like, oh my god, Pokemon are actually going to exist. I'll be able to chase after them in the real world. Nope. Nope. It's misleading. Hmm. Yeah, the, the advertisement is definitely very misleading. I was like, cool, I'll be able to have my own Oddish. Nope. That's gone. Nope, gone. <laughs> That's fair. I didn't like the ad. I think the ad, as beautiful as it looks, it's very misleading. It, it is, no. Especially for young children. Definitely. I mean, I'd be so disappointed if I was a mother and my eight year old kid saw these and be like, Mom, I can actually have a real Pokemon. How am I going to break it to them that it, it, they're lying to them? I couldn't do it. It'd be so sad. Imagine their little hearts breaking and the tears running down their faces. <laughs> Just couldn't do it. I guess so. That was a lot more serious than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't my opinion, that's how I gave it. No, definitely. I love I love the fact that you give your honest opinion. Good. 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 Um, so, I guess we're just going to roll with that. And, um, yeah, let, let us know down below in the comments uh, what you guys think of this game. If you're excited for it, if you think you're going to get it. Um... I don't know. Just let us know all those sorts of things. And if you could have any st question of the day, if you could have any starter Pokemon to start with on that game, what would it be and why? Or if you think that uh, they shouldn't have traditional starters and they should have some other sort of starting Pokemon, let us know. Or if you can't think of which Pokemon you would like, but you know a tight, still let us know down below. Sure. <laughs> and we'll see you around, guys. Bye. Scared me. Oh no, eggs, no eyes, no one fried.